parents could face prosecution if they fail to pay fines for taking children out of school, a minister says. I'm going to read into this more from Sky News, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, this is Regan really Elite here. With an article from Sky News with the headline that parents are facing prosecution if they fail to pay fines for taking children out of school, Minister says. The government is increasing fines for parents who take their children out of school as part of an attendance drive. Guys, while you're here, before I give my initial thoughts, if you can, hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. Um, this feels incredibly harsh. Now, there there may be a case that I obviously will read into the article, but I think there may be there may be some circumstances in which it is a necessity to take them out. It could be for health re health reasons. I don't agree with the assessment, obviously, of um the assessment of parents taking them out to go on a holiday. I, I understand that criticism. One of the arguments that parents can make, and, and they rightfully so, and if you are a parent, please put this in the comments below if you if you do do this or not, is they take them out rather than have them going on holiday in the school term because on school time, flights and holidays are super, super expensive. Because they are. They always ramp up the prices for them during the half terms when the kids are off so that's uh, one of the reasons maybe one of the reasons you don't have to you don't have to admit if you don't but some parents do that um, but there's a cost yeah to 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 that for the parents as well who want to make sure that they give the best uh, pos you know you know give them a bit of fun and, and go on a whole family holiday sort of thing but it always costs more during the half term but yes I say so going back onto the health reason uh, there may be medical reasons, there may be doctor's appointments, there may be um, specific reasons that they need to take their children out of a school for a certain certain issue where they can only get a doctor's appointment at this time or something or a certain dentist's appointment at a certain time. But that, that. It's entirely possible that these could be legitimate reasons. Now, should parents face prosecution for doing them? I don't think so. I, I think that's a way too much. Should they um, pay a fine if these are legitimate reasons? If if they have an appointment, if they have a notice or whatever from a doctor confirming that they have an appointment at this time, yeah, if they can prove it, then should the fine be rescinded? I think yeah, there's a, a reasonable grounds to it. Obviously, understandably, you would prefer it to be done outside of school hours. However, I do think that that is an important, <clears throat> they are important anyway. And so I think they need to be taken into consideration when doing so. I don't agree with prosecuting parents. I don't agree with it. And, you know, it, it, are we really facing uh, parents who are, I mean, obviously, are we coming across that parents are deliberately and intentionally trying to deny their kids education if they fail to pay fines for taking the children out of school? I, I mean, uh, is this really going to help with attendance drive? Is this really going to do this by being more harsher on them? Or should we actually invest in the schools to give them the best possible education pro pro possible? Could that be the more simpler solution rather than punishing parents? I think that's more of a question that needs to be asked because we have talked on this channel about um, how underfunded, how things are terrible for teachers and they're having a sh they're struggling. State schools in particular, of uh, state schools, obviously, we more specifically here in England, um, they're just not getting enough funding from the government and they are working with absolutely nothing. And they're working in some buildings where they're not even in proper school buildings because of our, of because of some autocrat concrete that they have. <clears throat> so some of the school buildings that they used to teach in, they can't teach in because they're not safe. So yeah, but there's a lot of problems with our uh, our school and education system. I just don't think this is the right time for this. I think we need to address our schools rather than punishing parents right now. So parents face prosecution if they fail to pay fines for taking their children out of school, a minister has said. The Education Minister Damien Hines said there has to be a deterrent for taking children out of school unnecessary during term time. It comes as the government announced overnight that fines for parents whose children miss school will rise by at least £20 as part of an attendance drive. The Department of Education said a national framework will be introduced from the start of 2024-2025 school year to help tackle inconsistency in how much institutions charge for unauthorised absences and all parents must be considered for the penalty if a child misses five days. So if a child misses five days, interesting. So the, 
The cost of the fine will rise from 60 to 80 pounds if paid within 29 days and from 120 to 160 if paid within 28, 28 days, the DfE has said. Where's that money going to? Is that is is, is this money going into the going back into the Department of Education? Or is it going straight into the coffers of the taxpayer? Speaking to Kate Burley, Mr. Hines said parents who failed to take the penalty face legal proceedings as well as taking as well as any other fines, but that the government's aim was to ensure no action is taken in the first place. There has to be a deterrent for taking children out of school unnecessary during term times because every day at school really, really matters. That's where fixed penalty notices come in, he said. It does, it, it, part of me just feels this is harsh. Like, I, I'm generally curious, yeah, anyone who's watching this from outside Europe, please let me know in the comments below, do you have these kind of fixtures? Like, do you have these 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 rules and strictness in place in, in when it comes to your schools? Please let me know in the comments section down below. And I'm generally curious to know. Asked what will happen if parents don't pay the fines, Mr. Hines said that it was a legal requirement to have a substitutable education for your child. As with fines in general, there is a system that you go through if you don't pay within 21 days, the amount goes up, he said. Ultimately, of course, the non-payment of fines can result in proceedings that account for other fines, but that's not where we want to be. We don't want people paying these fines at all. We want children to be in school. Of course, yeah, everybody wants their kids to be in school. But are, are we crossing a line here is the question. The General Secretary of the, Educa of the National Education Union, Daniel Cobbett, says finding parents more was not the answer, especially during a cost of living crisis, claiming that the move would simply purge them into debt. Yeah, this is the thing. We, we have This is exactly what, what my concern was initially. Like, Should we not be focusing on, on, on the schools more rather than punishing the parents more? There is no evidence to suggest that finding parents improves education, he said. It simply drives young people out of the system. Yeah, well, I just feel, I just feel like, uh, I'm, uh, I do, part of me feels like that this is a, it's just a means to rip off people more as well. Other measures will see every state school in England share their register across the sector, including with the DfE, councils and trusts to create a database to help spot trends. And a new national attendance ambassador has been appointed, the chief executive of the Northern Education Trust, Rob Tarn, to support the sector to improve attendance. But Labour shadows Education Secretary Bridget Phillipson accused the government of only just waking up to the damage of persistent absence that has reached historic levels on their watch, and said that the measures only address the symptoms of absence, not the causes. She said persistent absence uh, were rising long before the pandemic, the result of growing un unaddressed mental health ill health and the impact of years of economic decline hitting family finances and the breakdown of trust between schools and family. Ms. Phillipson urged the government to follow her party's plans to introduce a register of children not attending aimed to provide mental help and support in every school. Yeah, that that's that's how it should be done. That's how it should be done. Supporting them supporting parents and supporting kids in schools who are in these situations. Not punishing them. That that should be the way of doing it. But obviously we the government doesn't have a soul. And our heart, we know that. Um, I'm, I, the, you know, some of the things that Labour have said that they're going to introduce um, with regards to free school meals and things about brushing teeth and whatnot. I, I you know, I, I don't like the term nanny state, but parents are struggling right now just to pay things. And if if they are encouraged by the fact that the schools are able to do more to for their kids and that they're getting the funding they needed from a future Labour government, then it, then th this this will become completely unnecessary, this policy, um, because parents will be more encouraged to take their kids into school because they will get more additional benefits. Um, we know that kids are supposed to be going in because we want to give them a future, the best possible education possible. We really want to do that. But this, this idea that uh, those who are struggling right now when it comes to making ends meet, um, if they can't get in or wh whatever the reasons might be, the parents or whatever might be sick and whatnot, um, there can be all sorts of reasons why kids are, are not coming in. But, <clears throat> you know, to face prosecution, um, these heart, these fines are like, are we going too far? This is the thing. And I, and I, and I generally am, I'm inclined to feel that we are going too far. I don't know, again, like I said, uh, like I said in the video, I'm not sure what it's like elsewhere, but I'm curious to know. Hmm. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is justified? Do you think it's justified that parents could face prosecution if they fail to pay their fines for taking their children out of school? 
what kind of policy do you have in your area or perhaps in your country perhaps let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below if you found this video interesting please hit the like button be greatly appreciated share it across social media and hit that bell notification icon so be notified when i upload another video and if you want to financially support me in the work I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p. Or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content there as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.